So in the previous video, I asked the question about the final output of this problem and what concept is used of that. So here set state is the function and especially a higher order function because this function returns another function. This is the first concept. Second concept of Dart is called closure. So what closure does, wherever the closure is defined, it will always remember all the values within the scope where it is defined. Let's see the output. So first we call set state function where we pass value 5 in the number and this function will be stored in the function 1. Second we call set state with passing value 12. This 12 will be stored in the number and this function will be stored in the function 2. Now till then the value is being passed but it has not been processed. Now when we call function 1 with call function, this will invoke the closure function within that value. So closure already remembers in the previous state, 5 was already passed in the number. So this 5 will be passed as in the i value. So 5 plus 5, 10. Again in the function 2, the call function and this way, these are the alternative way to call a closure within the function or call a any function within the dart. So they are the same thing but two alternative ways. Again in function 2, if we pass a value 10, this 10 will be passed in the closure i. Because the closure will remember what value was passed in the set state, the 12 plus 10 will be 22. Now in the third line we call function 2 with call value 5. This 5 will be passed in the i value. Now because closure will remember that what value was passed in the function 2, 12, this state will be remember hence 12 plus 5 it will be 17. Remember closure remembers the value within the scope where it's been declared. For more flutter related videos follow me.